Hey everybody, Sarah Wife of Bulldog here again. Originally, we were going to do a video about hydro seeding and how easy it is with Justin, but he's currently suffering from heat rash and can't stop itching. That's where I come in. I'm here to show you how this big thing works and how simple it can be to operate. Justin uh, was able to do one small favor for me and he actually filled this thing up with water. We skipped that footage just because it's like filling a pool. It's pretty boring. The next exciting, uh, or the next exciting step is adding the mulch to the tank here and I'll show you how that's done. Kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, that insulation you get with uh, the padding and carpeting. Just kind of breaking it up here. Don't want to put too large of chunks in here because you do want this to mix. And then if you want to take a close up look at this stuff, you can actually see little bits of like paper that almost look like they were like recycled bits of ads or junk mail or something like that. Kind of interesting looking. All right, we've got two bales of mulch in the hydro seeder. I managed not to lose my wedding ring inside it in the process, so, so far so good. Now we're gonna start up the hydro seeder so we can begin to mix this stuff. Um, basically, I'm gonna pull this here and turn the electric start, just like a car. Not do it. All right, we got our tripod positioned so you can see inside the tank exactly what happens. Now that we got the thing started, we need to start the, uh, I don't know, I like to call it the undulating process, the mixing process. Next step, that's been mixing for a while and I have here in my hot little hands a bag of tack fire. This is a water soluble bag that you just throw in and it kind of acts as a glue to hold everything together. You may notice I am wearing a completely new outfit. Stay tuned for the end for a juicy little tidbit. Water soluble bag, so you just toss it right in and let it mix. Sploosh! Now while that load's mixing, I'm going to go bring the tractor over to the property and start the seeding process. This property happens to be a neighbor of ours. Next step, putting grass seed in the broadcast spreader. Kind of feel like it should be strutting a little bit. Now that we got the seed laid down, it's time to cult pack it in. Skitty butt problems. pretend to be as well versed on this thing as my husband. I won't lie. It's still a learning process for me. Now we're on the next step of adding fertilizer. So some of you might be asking yourselves, why aren't we putting all this stuff in the hydro seeder and just spraying it down? Wouldn't that make it a lot easier? There's a couple reasons why we don't do that. Main reason is Scoopy over there. Since we have a cult packer, it only makes sense for us to broadcast spread the seed and cult to pack it into the ground to 
ensure that seed to soil contact so we can make sure that stuff actually grows. We also don't put fertilizer in our hydro seeder because fertilizer has nitrates that corrode metal and would probably ruin that thing here, shorten its lifespan. So because most people that have hydro seeders don't have tractors, we do a couple extra steps that only helps everybody else in the long run. Now, if we were to put everything in the hydro seeder tank, all that stuff would just sit on the surface of the dirt and not actually grow any roots, it would just be kind of sitting there. So the main star of this show necessarily isn't the hydro seeder, but the cult packer, although they work hand in hand together. So the moment you've been waiting for, we're gonna fire up this bad boy and this hose does weigh a lot. Helper, I need help. Is it ready to spray? Just yeah, turn it. Uh, ready to go? Yep. All right, there goes nothing. Basically, I'm just spraying this until I don't see the grass seed anymore. Just kind of giving it a nice coating. It is awfully nice to have a helper, I must say. Okay. I don't know, honey. A little busy right now. I got a much cuter helper now. Officially a family affair. All right, everybody, if you enjoyed me watching uh, me make a fool of myself on this thing, uh, then like, share, and subscribe. And remember, just like my itchy husband says, if I can do it, you can do it. Peace out, guys. Now that we got the thing started, we need to start the uh, I don't know, I like to call the undulating process, the mixing process. That is why you should always have your holes in the off position when you start to mix it.
because you get a nice bath. We're gonna take a break, hose ourselves down, eat some pizza, and come right back to this. Stay in school, kids. Don't do drugs. <laughs>